Um, hey guys, welcome back. Um, I'm just going to introduce you to um, creating an emissive material in Substance Painter. Um, emissive in that it will um, project a glowing effect. All right, so um, maybe in this box that I've created, very simple shape. Okay, I've just extruded it in a little bit. Um, and of course, I have UV unwrapped it. Okay, if you're interested, you can see that applied. And you can see the cuts around the perimeter. Okay, so we're now ready to send this over to um, Substance Painter. I will delete the history, Alt Shift D, and then I'll file. Now, I've already saved this. Um, I've exported it as an FBX, so I'm going to swap straight over to Substance. And I've got it already in here, but I will pull it in again just to show you. So File, I've gone PBR Metallic Roughness, which is in the drop down. Okay, this one here under Non PBR. I will select my file, of course. Box 1, open. Change to 2048, I'll go. I've got import cameras off and auto unwrap off. I'll click OK, discard. So it's going to come in like that. Um, I've had some students asking, hey, why is it all brown like this? That's because we're viewing this with um, environment lighting turned on. So you're actually seeing underneath um, shadows. That's all that is. When we take the actual texture back into Maya, um, you'll only get like the base color, the height, so you won't see the material with the lighting turned on. For example, base color, notice how it's not brown under there anymore. Okay, so just be aware of that. That's a lighting. All right, so let's talk about this emissive. So what we're going to do, I'm going to come as usual to the texture set settings. And if I scroll down, sorry, scroll up here to channels, you'll notice in my channels I have emissive. Now by default you might not have that. So I'll just get rid of it and show you how, how to add one. Um, just here, the little plus next to channels. And then choose emissive. Now I have emissive channel. Okay, coming down, I will go bake mesh maps. Um, and I'll say no, I don't really need an ID map for this one. Change that to 2048 and bake. Goes through the process. So what we're going to do next is just add a base material. We'll run with say a, a um, one of those smart materials. Let's have a look. Here's our base layer. So I'm just going to come to materials. We'll go to smart materials. And for the purpose of this exercise, I'll look for um, maybe fabric, no, plastic, no, maybe steel tank. I'll drag that and drop that on. Just left mouse drag and dropped it on. So this is a smart material. Okay, applied to it. You see it applied here. Okay, let's talk about that emissive. So that's that there. We'll get rid of this base layer. We don't need that. All right, so to create an emissive um, layer. First what we'll do is create a, um, a fill layer. So over, not add layer, but fill layer, the um, bucket. This will create a layer over everything. So like that. And I'm just going to change the base color. As you know, what we want here is emissive. So we'll turn off all of these other channels like base color, height, roughness, metallic, normal. We don't need those. Because once again, remember, we're interested in an emissive. So turn them off here. Height, roughness, metal, normal, and opacity. Now we've only got the emissive. See, just the emissive. Let's now choose a color. So I'll go maybe a bright, a bright green. Maybe something like that. Whoa. Okay. Now if it's not bright enough for you, you can add a little bit of white in there. Okay. Um, I'm going to go about here. Now what's important is that you come over over to your surface um, oh, sorry your shader settings over here. Click that 
and just increase the emissive intensity if it's not bright enough for you, if it's not glowing enough. You can bring that right up, almost white, look at that, or right down to nothing. So it's not glowing enough, just bring that up. Oh, go about there. Okay, it's important. Okay, so at the moment, the entire object is emitting light. So we need to refine that because we only want to emit it from certain areas. So with that fill layer selected, we're going to add a mask. This one here, we'll add a black mask so it hides our top layer like that. And now we can choose a brush. I'll go to brushes over here. See, select our brush and brushes. And now I'll just select a fairly, um, I'll go a basic hard. That'll do, just to show you it's working. Now I can paint either in this viewport or in this one. Um, I'll paint actually in this one. And I'll do it through here. Whoops. I'll grab that and I'll hold a line like this. So you can actually see it starting to take effect already. Right. Boom. So I'm holding shift, left click, just to do a straight line. So that theoretically should now show a glow effect inside there. If I wanted to fix this up, I'd come in here and, you know, fix it up a bit, but just for the purposes of this exercise. And I'll add a little bit just here and here, just to see what how this looks. Now, if I hit F10 on my keyboard, I should be able to see this in Ira. And there we go. You can actually see the emissive light now. It's generating, starting like a glow effect on the edges. That's why I painted it over here, just to show you that it is working. All right, I'll just pull back a little bit so you can see it. So we know it's working. It's still rendering, by the way. All right, it's going through a few iterations there. And I believe it's complete now, yes. So there we go, that's an emissive um, effect. All right, I'm gonna hit F9 to get out of this viewport and go back to L number one. Okay, now we need to save these out to apply them back in Maya. So once of course you've finished your emissive and you're really happy with it, okay, I might have a little bit of fun here and super emissive, why not? Right. Bonk, bonk. Let's see how that goes. Hmm. So file. We're interested in the textures. Export textures. Now you've got to tell it where you're going to save it to. Very important. Okay. Output directory. I'm going to put it on my desktop under this one called box test. I'll put it in there. So I'll place it all in there. There we go and should be good and output templates should be good let's go export and there we go to roughness there's the emissive now i'll just close this you can see them there now back in maya here's a little trick um, if you want to apply those substance textures very quickly maya actually has a little plugin installed and it's, it's called substance here Right. If you're not seeing substance, you can come into Windows, Settings Preferences, Plugin Manager. Go into there. I'll just check this. Now I'm going to type sub for substance just to refine it. And then go apply to all and auto load. So it just loads all of them and then refresh. That's very important. Okay, so then this should pop up. Now once it's popped up, select your object of course. I will go Substance, Apply Workflow to Maps. Clicking that, it'll have a little pop up like this. Let's select those multiple maps that we created. There's the emissive look, but they're not populated. So Arnold Workflow. Now this is going to create the Arnold material for us. There we are, box one. Oh, there's the emissive too. So I'll just shift, left click, and I will go select. There they are, they're populated, and apply. Now, what have we got there? Okay, let's have a look. In here, go into our hypershade, 
and I'll just come in here and I'll just look for the one that it's created and there it is okay and it's uh, this one there that's it so I'll just middle mouse drag that on and just so you can see it um, because you're not going to see it in this viewport you're going to have to open up Arnold better create a light a sky dome at least the most basic light would be a sky dome I'm just going to reduce the intensity a bit to about say 0.7 resolution to say 2000 okay samples around four or five now we'll see what we get let's see if it works open the Arnold render view and I'll hit play and fingers crossed ta-da there we go a nice emissive material is being applied there too okay fantastic thanks for watching